What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are going to do an idea with solar flare we've never done before. I don't think. If we did, it was years ago. It's Tempo Solar Flare. We're actually going to try to use Solar Flare not as a ramp hero, not as an aggro hero, but as Tempo. Tempo means you're trying to slowly build up your board, trying to gain more attack and more health on the board every single turn than your opponent. And you're going to do that by playing cards uh, which are either insanely high value by themselves or they grow over time. Like the Blooming Heartless will gain a lot of attack, so it'll end up being a lot of value for a one drop. Same thing goes with the cost moss um, this will grow every single time you play an environment we actually have uh, eight types of eight environments total in this deck four that can come out of fireweed and we're running four of the um solar winds which again this is technically a tempo card it does give you some flowers of return which you can use to protect to play bigger cards so uh, i think this is a legit use in a tempo deck uh, running the invasive species since there are so many environments too. This is a three cost five four, which is a lot of value high hitter and uh, I think this might be the best use out of Velociradish Hunter because uh, these cards again will grow an attack over time. It creates two of them. It also creates a little team up for the Cobb Cannon. Uh, but particularly playing this, letting it grow a couple turns, then playing Sunstrike, I feel like really optimizes the value of the Velociradish Hunter. Then again, its attack like you know doubles. It grows by two every single turn, including the two of them. And the Sunstrike actually makes it grow again, plus makes it they can't block it and have strike through. Briar Rose is a tempo card. We usually use this as a uh, you know a control card to remove and it is a control card uh, in this deck but uh, again this will make you again have more value on the field every single turn. Uh, there are plenty of flowers in this deck so the invasive species itself is a flower of course this makes flowers uh, and the uh, comp cannon uh, this can be used to cover a team up. This also can just be used as a 6-6 six, six, which you know, nerfs, you can play this dry, and this is a heavy tempo card, it'll put some extra beef onto the field, not like to do damage itself, it'll also wait till the next turn and play Sunstrike, and it'll do the strike through damage. I think this could really, really work, of course, the um, Fireweed is one of the best tempo cards in the game, it's a 2 cost 3-3 three, three played on heights, on the ground, it can trade way, way, way up. Uh, hope you guys enjoy, let's see what we can do here. I have had a lot of you know, a lot of good stuff happening with Cosmos. If you play Cosmos on one, the Fireweed can either go on heights or on the ground. You just sort of play around what they're playing here. And, uh, all right, let's do this, you guys. Is anyone watching Fry speak? What? I'm so confused. Let's do it. This is... Hmm. This is okay. We're looking for a one in this deck. Looking for a one. This is okay. And thank you so much, Raging Smash. PvZ Heroes Amino. I'm probably going to make my own Amino actually soon. It's just on my long list of things to do. Rage and Smash. Alright, so we did not have a 1, unfortunately. Ooh, okay. We do have some 3s here, which is nice, which means we can use this just to cover the environment and we'll be okay. Developing these earlier than later is good, they just gain so much tempo. So, Fireweed is the higher tempo card, so maybe we should be true to the deck and play Fireweed. Otherwise, we can just go Solar Winds, which doesn't do enough here. Let's go Fireweed. I can also go Fireweed on Heights, actually, and just leave that environment alone. I think that's actually what I'll do. Because this will probably still have more value than this card here. Yep. Just to make sure we do not get aggro. Maybe you should do a challenge series where you try to do each deck archetype with each hero. Only play three games per type and do all three types for one hero per stream. Interesting. So you do aggro, tempo, and control with each hero. Interesting. Interesting. It's six rating. Really? Okay, we're actually already out-tempoed right now. 
We have a three one, it is two two one. It's a lot of small removal in our powers. Damn, son! Damn, look at freaking damn, son. Is he gonna deadly? planning on doing with this on life of the party then final mission the front velociraptor shelter not a very strong play by him we actually are caught up this really really works well amazing now we're ramping too I'll definitely take it. Woo -hoo -hoo. We are out tempoing him. This deck is actually working exactly the way we would like it to. It happens to be that, you know, temp Argo decks are going to charge our block meter unless they're bullseye based, which is also going to give us more tempo and help us control the opponent with Solar Flare because we can have a lot of small removal. The small removal actually works very well with this deck. Swabby Primeval, yeah. I'll write that down. Uh, for chickening? That's a cool idea. Uh, Berry Blast. Keep this. Berry Blast and this one. Get him with the big, the big hitter. Chickening does nothing here. Wrath. Our opponent only has the two cards now. Too. Would have been nice to kill this environment. It's not gonna add that much value. It's just one attack. Comes together. Comes together. I know, he blocked the five. These two might be the play, because then I could just do this later. Maybe let's do what. Let's get rid of this environment. Bounce a plant. That's okay though. What's he gonna bounce? Fire rose. Big one. Is it a deadly barrel? He has strength. It's just another card out of his hand. And we will be gaining the sunflower. We have the briar rose back. Uh, we're gonna be able to briar rose and invasive species here. We're in very decent shape. Uh, Potted Powerhouse is a Mega Grow card. Try to memorize your classes, guys. Very important. So this always happens. That'll die. Newspaper. So there's five damage to his face. We really out-tempoed him the whole game, despite his fast start. You know, the guy had an early Infinity Clones that dies. Fire Rose just makes everything trade up. I mean, this entire board is flowers. Just saying, you guys. Didn't get a Sun Strike. I feel like the Sun Strike is actually one of the keys to this deck. It's nice to see this deck performing well with him. Sun Strike. This is... Very weed whackable. And thanks so much, wise old noob. Fry raptors are glitched and won't make a team up just a regular one. What? Really? This guy doesn't have team up? 
Is that true? Make a copy of this with team up here. Does this card not have team up? It doesn't say team up. It doesn't say gained. If you bounce the back one, can I stick something here? Uh, I, I want to see that. I want to see that firsthand, you guys. I think it's like this. He doesn't have any more cards. I can't deadly this. Oh, surprise! Got him. It has no team up. It's glitch of the century. How have this? How has this card been out since Triassic? And I've never noticed that. Ah, uh, there's nothing you can do to remove a three-one. Impossible. Want to know? Maybe this will be the new tempo card, you guys. Maybe tempo solar class is just gonna be our new thing. I can't wait to utilize the cosmoses too. It's so much value. Cosmos on one, just freaking fireweed on two. Thank you, Rocky. I'm feeling much better. Remove icons? Those are cool. What are these things? What are these little pink swords and stuff? There's, I don't, the only one that looks new is the pink sword. Oh, and the crown. That's cool. I'm saving on my fan kit. That's really cool, dude. Thanks for showing me that. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, looking for an early gamer. This is fine. This is not good against Rust Bowl. This is a little better. Alright, I'll, I'll keep Briar Rose. Say I'm not getting a one drop, though. Aha, a one drop! Tempo means try to get more stats than your opponent every single turn. Too bad we start off with the wrong power. It's a weak play against Solar Flare, but unfortunately, we started. This power is a problem. Really, whenever we start with this in our hand, we're gonna be at a big disadvantage. There's no use for it in this deck. I kinda wish there was something in this deck that could utilize the mushroom leaves. Solar Winds is strong, because then we have an answer to the... Pass turn, too. We have an answer to the team mascot. Beam me up? No. What are you doing at sports? Like, he's gonna buff the 2-2? Two -two? He's, he's gonna play Black Hole? It wouldn't be bad. You're right, uh, Elderberry could be good. Would I use Elderberry though? Instead of what? Instead of Cab Cannon? I, I don't think it's good enough. It's good. Play background music? I could. I don't really see this. Is this a sumo now? Okay, Gentleman Zombie. Is Baboon Rising Duck and he has Arm Wrestler just to stick around? Anyway. Is Leap a competitive card? It happens to be the Leap decks we've been using, particularly the huge Giganticus one. It's a very competitive deck. It has a very high win rate. I'm almost contemplating, you know, in a tournament setting, bringing that kind of deck. It would be a... Uh, it would be a little out of the box, but I think it's viable, to be honest. What does the little star at the bottom of the of the cards mean? So, I get asked this a lot. I should maybe add this to the fact. The, the star at the bottom of the card means that it has an ability, after you play onto the field, it will still do something special besides for its stats. So, for example, Fireweed, even though it makes hot lava uh, on the field when you play it, then it's done. It has no more special ability, so therefore it does not get the star. Um, this, for example, every single time it is, goes in and out in, of an environment, it'll gain and lose attack. So it still can do something. Same with Briar Rose. It can do something. Sunflower will gain you sun every turn. So the star means click on me. I, I can do a thing. I think this is the thing. Okay. 
get flanked. That's why a kite flyer does, because it can do a thing. It can draw a card. Last day of break? The break is over, you guys. Uh, this will actually set up the invasive species better later, so... Why the heck not? Let's get environments all over the place. All over the place. It's also flowers in every lane. These are also three attack guys, which again, Rust Bolts, not such, an e not such easy cards to deal with. If you get summoning here, it's not going to be great. It's so much damage. It's 12 damage on the field. You're alive for one more turn after this? I have flown a kite before, yes. My father used to bring us to uh, fly kites. Pretty American thing to do. Oh, baby! Thinking cat. <coughs> and pass. We're Sunstrike. Interesting, these two games. We haven't even seen Sunstrike. It's such an important card in this deck. I'm finally running four, by the way. I usually don't even run four. But it's so essential. I mean, Sunstrike would just win the game here. It would just win the game, you guys. Now, we slow it down. Protected. Getting a retreat. How many cards does he have? Three, three, three. That's card number ten. I'll still be, be milled. We need a sunstrike. Yeah, guys. It's just gonna be hard to push for lethal here without the sunstrike. At least we have a couple lanes. No, we have one lane. Where's Cobb Cannon? This is not a good hand. No Sunstrike, no Cobb Cannon. This is not going to be that easy to win, you guys. Not too easy. Let's just do the high value play. My opponent is very low in health. This 3 1 just dies here. I don't like our chances, actually. Even though we're up so drastically in terms of health. This guy's just wrecking us. Oh, he's giving me cards with the uh, gatekeeper. You're right. That's a pretty poor play. Where is Sunstrike? Dude, I can't win without one of my finishers here. Here's one Berry Blast. I'm probably going to save that for face. Unless I can remove some minion and hit him for five. Okay, this is interesting. Very interesting. I have no freaking clue what to do. I think I want to keep this on the field in the meantime. I rolled three ones. I'm saving this for face in case we get another berry blast. It looks like we're gonna need it. Top decking a berry blast will make us win now. In fact, he's giving us a lot of cards. We're drawing three cards at the beginning of the next turn, so a Sunstrike will probably win. A Berry Blast certainly wins. Um, a Cobb Cannon would be just freaking amazing here, even though we're not going to actually have any team-ups now. Uh, I probably should have saved the Velociradish, just to be able to have a team-up. <coughs> definitely not blocking anytime soon. This man's going to get milled. Three cards. I gotta get one berry blast here. Let's go. Do you think fireweed is a good card? Please clear the drama. It's seriously one of the best cards in the game.
he healed? Oh, damn. Oh, did he just heal? Whoops. Fleek. Why that one? Frenzy does very little there. I don't like that. You gotta keep the drone engineer left. Okay, so it keeps the other cards alive. He's doing all this bullseye now. Five bullseye. These two trade. Can we have a block, please, at some point? <sighs> Just not getting the cards here. This is unbelievable, these draws. Here we go. That might do something. No, and it gets Gadget Scientist. What? Right when we get our first cop game. That was unfortunate. We just needed some more late game cards. Even getting those Briar Roses earlier would have kept the game under wraps, but... Um, you know, percentage of our deck, 12 out of 40 cards are late game, and we just didn't get them. That's unfortunate. We haven't seen Sunstrike yet, by the way. Didn't block. Our opponent rolled so many ones there. That was BS, that game, I'm telling you. I, I don't I could, if I was going to only count fair games, I wouldn't even count that one. Yeah, we drew a lot of cards, too. It's interesting. Two berry blasts. This is worse against the smash. We're just looking for a for an environment. I might start with the blooming heart now. Probably will. We'll do the cosmos combo later. Let's do this in the middle lane. We want the lane ground lanes to be very versatile, so you put this right in the middle, so you can not only make good decisions, but also play around our opponent's block meter by putting something both to the right or to the left. Keeping our options open. Gravestone would be sad. Very blessed to play. It's very interesting that he didn't... That he didn't front this. Why would he want to keep this on the field? It's very, very strange. I mean, we're going to bury Blast, but... What can we learn from this? What can we infer about this guy's deck that this is such an important card to stay alive? Art is, ours is so much better. His gives him a card when it dies, too. <coughs> Very strange. Strange indeed. Have I encountered a hacker? Yeah. The way they hack the game is by editing uh, the strategy decks and make them have... Um, illegal, uh, basically be compiled of illegal combinations. Uh, I'd like this block to happen after this fight happens, so yeah, yeah. Put it to the right. Landscaper. Kills the back one. That was correct. Please do trade. Block. Super really only neutralizes half of those cards. Cards split into two. I kind of like it. Finally, here's Sunstrike. <coughs> you don't have an environment, though. Oh boy, could we use one. I think Sunstrike is the play. What's he planning on doing here? Buffing this? Well, let's see here. A lunchbox will kill Sugary Tree. We'll make this into a 3-6. I think this is a legit Scorch. Because now Sugary Tree will not kill these. It will make this survive, though. Lunchbox will not make this survive. It's either Sugary Treat or Lunchbox. 
or nibble. Oh, galvanize. Galvanize does get it done. Didn't play around galvanize. Come on, Fry. Good call, Time Warp. That clears us. Plus, he gets the full value out of this now. Good, 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 go. Very strange indeed. Now we have no environment. Kind of just need that one environment. Sunstrike makes all your cards have strike through for that turn. Draw a card. Welcome back, Regent. If he moves, that's actually fine because now the cop cannon finishes this off unless he replaces the goat. Got to hit the pass button. We're still doing a lot of damage to his face. He's going playing his game with the Coliseum go Coliseum goats. At the end of the day, he's he's on eight health now. FTK Coliseum. If he doesn't grow this with the goat again, it's gonna bite the dust to Cab Cannon. Right. No, he does not play goat, dude. Dude! Tell me why. Wow, this is a fine play. We want to hit face with the 6-2. I mean, also. You know what I'm saying. Sunstrike. Did I say draw a card? I meant conjure a trick. Thank you. Thank you. I never want to hear you say. Uh, I'm actually happy I didn't hit. I'd rather have a full block meter here. Uh, what it that way? Tell me why ain't nothing good Ain't nothing good on this day. I know what I say. I think because of the versatility. I mean, this will trade. Do you want this to die? I wonder if we keep this alive. I mean, if we have lethal, it's not going to make a difference. What trick would help us? There's so many. Okay, tempo. Let's be true to our name here. Just sunstrike. Wow, we wouldn't have been able to play it. <laughs> Pretty good card here, though. Um, the the thing is, the thing is, you guys, we wanted to play second card because on average two two. Ah, oh, you're saying on average two and two, we would actually win the game. I'm so used to just our opponent always rolling a two and a three. <laughs> You're right, mathematically we should not have played another card here. Plus, who knows what we'd get out of that. Fertilize. In fact, if he rolling stones, it helps us here. I hope we roll a two and a three, because then we win. Uh, this increases our, our, our odds, right? Yep. So there's a one in three of us getting that power exactly. So now we almost always win. He needs heal. <laughs> we did roll a three, just saying. Uh, no, he already healed. Did he heal? I don't remember. Uh, when I'm streaming, I don't keep track of powers. No one cares! Too long. Damn, these games. These games is tedious.
These are a little too circumstantial. I'm gonna go with, um, with this big old guy. And this also does legitimize our, um, it does legitimize our solo wins more. It also legitimizes the elderberry, the, uh, the more spore. I think that's correct. Keep it going. Oops, didn't mean to. Addition here to the deck. You're too late. Oh baby, I'll take it. Oh wow, this is this is this is a hand we were looking for, by the way, you guys. Here we go. Solar winds make this into a three-three. So that's an environment plus a one-one. I mean, this is. We can also just play the fireweed. I took out two of the um, three three drops, invasive species. Ooh, how how greedy do I get here? That's the real question. How greedy do we get? This is a weird play. What do I? I don't have anything next turn, so let's just be normal. It makes the Briaros happen also, which is amazing. Get wrecked. Ramp versus ramp, which is ours is better. So I took out two invasive species and put in two elderberries. That'll be better. Invasive species is too circumstantial, doesn't really help us finish. And uh, they, we need a we need a use head of more spore in this deck. One use. I never wanna hear you say Keep it going. I never wanna hear you say keep it going. Okay, so he has two. Is he gonna deadly? If he uses a deadly card here, either deadly barrel or, or even better, super stench, that would be so good. Wrong freaking one, dude! Oh! Oh, this guy hit rank 30 last turn, last season two. 30 or 40. Oh, that just hurt. Hurt. Oh, that's the end of the game, too. That's the sad part, you guys. Oh, someone kill me. There's no point in doing that. Look how great of a tempo card this cop cannon is. The solar winds just gives you so much value. Goodbye, Briar Rose. Swabbies! Well, we'll kill the Swabby blocking our, our Cosmos. That's for freaking certain. Uh, and then we'll just remove something else. God, oh my god. Can you play another minion, please? This does create lethal. <laughs> Kill the swabby! <laughs> that one dies too. Oh, this game's this game making me cringe. Freeze! He's alive, ladies and gentlemen. Oh.
Okay. That was the one that got me, guys. I just can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. That's depressing. I'm gonna have to go to rehab after that. It's only six days into 2019 and I think we just found the worst play of 2019. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. The heck sadness once again. Oh, for freak's sake. Oh, blimey. Oh, what a, what a pity and a half. Oh, I don't even know. Man, this hand sucks, you guys. It's a very posh British accent. Stop making fun of the posh accent, you guys. I know, it was pretty bad. I think if I worked on it for a little while, I could actually nail it. And that's an accent I really, really like too. Some people don't like British accents. I love them. There's something about British culture Everyone has like this one culture that just fascinates them. Some people like Japan's culture is just their thing. For me, everything about British culture, I just, culture, I mean, I can't say I like every part of it, but I just find it all fascinating. The accent, the, the politics, the regional politics are hilarious. Mr. Bean? Not a huge fan of Mr. Bean. More of Monty Python guy. Again, I don't necessarily love Monty Python like he's the best, they're the best, it's the best thing in the world, but it's fascinating. Uh, you never know what they're gonna come up with. One of my favorite comedians is Jimmy Carr, and I actually learn a lot about British culture from him. I also have, I'm sub subscribed to some weird YouTube channel that explains uh, the oddities of, and quirks of British culture to Americans specifically. I, I, I don't really, Discord's not really my thing. I will be making an Amino soon though, uh, in, in, as, opposed to in, as opposed to a Discord server. So uh, that will be happening soon. Um, I, I just have to, again, it's, I have a very, very, very extensive list of things I need to do. I don't think we even touched that. Too easy for him to capitalize just by bungee plumbering this. 
What's your favorite Monty Python movie? Isn't it's just the Grail? They most of them were were shows and skits, right? Okay, why are you bungee plumbering a three one that's dying? Just why? What is happening to this game? Why would you do that? God, stop wasting cards! Oh my freaking lord! Oh lord almighty! What is happening here? Why? Just freaking tell me why! Oh. This guy's ranked 24 season reset. I mean, this person had a decent rank last season, and I don't even know what's happening in this game anymore. Holy moly with that. I'm actually going here. They'll give us a little extra ramp, and we really don't need to. We don't have a big guy that we need to cover yet. And that has plenty of health. The little environment's not going to affect it very much. You Look, I'm not mad. I understand. People are spaced out. People are, whatever, drinking and playing this game. I don't know. But j what? The level of play has gone down so much. What is happening today? Probably pay PopCap to give him garbage opponents. <laughs> conspiracy theories? Let's... That's better than... That's better. No, you know what? That conspiracy theory is better than this just happening. So sad. Nobody cares. Zero people care. Oh. It's guaranteed lethal. Four and one. There's nothing Zima can do here. Zero things. None of his powers do anything. Hola, Fry. Hablar es español? No. <laughs> no. Pablo or Pablo? No, Pablo español. I know as much Spanish as every random American does. Because it's part of the culture. I paid my opponents off to make dumb plays. Is that a Spanish accent? Stop laughing at my accents! They all suck! I'm American, okay? There's only one accent I can do. And that is the Israeli accent. Israelis, when they come to America, there's some, some syllables they, they cannot pronounce. And their R's are very rolly. And they have a... They, they, no, they have. That's Russian. They have a problem saying the TH sound. And they say they. Anyway. Keep it going, Mr. Grinch. Keep it going. Oh, dear. Keep it going. Oh, that's a good hand. That's a good hand. Good old hand. Your tongue cut That's the Israeli accent. That's the only one I know how to do. I I lived in in Israel listening to um, Israelis speak the Israeli accent. That, you know, most people speak English. I'd say most people in Israel speak English. So they all have the heavy the heavy Israeli accent. So. No, most of them. Um, I'm going to not be making a Discord server. I can't moderate them. I'm going to be doing a Mino. And they're actually, they said that they'll, they'll, um, they actually have a, mod, a built in moderation system. That's kind of what I need. Say something in French? I don't know how to, I don't know how to talk French. I only know how to laugh in French. <laughs> okay, what is this? Really? Should we go heavy power? Uh, yeah. Heavy power, baby. I'll be making Amino, it'll be just as good. Amino! It's on the very, very, very... Okay, I'm so happy I feel good. See, now I'm gonna actually get, like, a big chunk of stuff. I have to make a list of the stuff I need to do this week. That'll actually help me a lot. Oh, I had this! Hmm, I should've... Oh, I actually have it again. Oops, he has it again. Oh, let's do this, why not? Oh, baby! Uh, let's play around. We playing around the. Um, that's actually Crocs the block. 
Hmm, a little bit sad. I wish Morris more only made one mushroom. Oh, I was playing around alley news, that's why I didn't play that. Hi, it's, this should hit now. Unless he rolls five. Uh, uh. Okay. Sounds like Sansa. That sounds more realistic than that. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely the way Santa Santa laughs. It's not ho ho ho. That's just an adaptation of the French. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we need a cob cannon. Okay, we don't really need anything. Oh baby, we cooking it. <laughs> Sansta? No, it's not Sansta, you guys. That's the that's the girl from Game of Thrones. Sansa. It's a perfect name for her. Oh! Oh? Come on, man! Where's the cop cannon? When you need it. This does kill this card, by the way. We'll do this eventually. Now he sounds like Wario. Ah, it's a me, a Wario! Ha 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 ha! Wario is supposed to be French, though. That's his thing. He's actually he speaks with a French, a fake Japanese French accent. I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. No, it's Italian. Sorry, it's not French. It's Italian. What am I even saying, Fry? You ain't even making sense now. You ain't even making. You ain't even making sense. It's Italian, of course. It's evil Italian. I'm I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. Much lower. I can work on the Wario voice. He's my he's my main in Mario Kart, so you know. Can I do Waluigi? I don't know. He doesn't really say much in Mario Tennis. That's my extent of Waluigi. That's where he was introduced, by the way. Okay. Okay, that was cool. I'm a warrior. I'm gonna kill you. It's like this. Bam! Please, where's Cop Cannon? <laughs> this mushroom has been way more of a liability than anything. I know it's like flamenco, right? <laughs> what is happening to me? Oh, we're gonna get a trick. This trick is gonna carry us to freaking Vic. God, what is happening today? The two damaged flamencos. Why? <laughs> what has happened to this game? That's not bad. We don't want the environment either. I kill you! Tell me why. Ah, uh, Nev, look, the little puff shroom has sun strike. <laughs> okay, really? Evaporate. Lightning bolt. There we go. Tell me why. I do not have any any eminent plans of playing Elder Scrolls Legends. Sorry, Anvil. Please stop asking. It's all right. Oh, snappies! I want a berry blast. I want a berry blast. 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 Yay! He's killing my 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 puff. My lovely man. Hey, they actually, uh, no. Okay. Uh huh? Oh. We can always play this here. Oh! Uh oh. Huh? This doesn't matter at all. Stupid. This is better. We're doing pretty good. 
Uh, no, triple ones will not save him. Nice to try, though. Here's a one. There's Dick. Yo, Dave! That was unnecessary. Well, no, I played around a block, actually. That was pretty good. He already used the heal one, I think. I never want to hear you say. What is the best trick for the plants? I'd say overall, if not counting superpowers, Berry Blast and Plant Food are, are the two really good ones. I kind of auto-include. I'd say Plant Food is overall the best, because it, it just wins games. It's a little better than Sunstrike, usually. Do I keep this late, stupid late game card? This is good against HG. We need a Cosmos so freaking bad. Yes! Yes! <laughs> this is harsh, you guys. Cosmos is so good. It's so good. So much good against freaking HG. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna develop this fire weed on the ground. Um, because we have invasive specials in our hands. And we have the cosmos. I'm freaking killed, you guys. I never wanna hear you sad. I call Cobb Cannon stupid. Am I gonna Am I gonna go to PBZ Blasphemy Purgatory? Is that what I'm gonna do? I can say whatever I want, you guys. I'm just gonna be myself. Stop, stop, stop shame shaming me. <laughs> I don't even know. You guys know that getting offended is a weakness. As little as people would like to hear that, it is true. I never wanna. Oh, putting an environment on the field makes this Cosmos live. I'll definitely take it. I want Briar Rose to be on the right. Look at this play. Interesting play. Oh, baby! Look at that value! This is for four value. We gained 3-2 three, and 3-3. Three, three, so that's 6-5-7-6 uh, for four. That's pr pretty damn good. Makes his Cosmos trade with Dr. Frickin' Who now. I'll definitely take it. Randy Cosmos is definitely kicking in. Randy freaking Cosmos. Oh, ho, ho. Look at that. Look at, look at this. This is, this is a lot of damage, you guys. Go with Briar Rose here. You can't even play environments either. You got offended by me saying that? You know what I'm saying. Don't even say you got offended by that. Because you suck. Okay. Liam Angel says, Oh, Fry, where are Tor Coffre? Uh, where are your Coffre? Coffee. Where are your coffee? Um, did I have coffee today? I did. It's delicious. You know, this is the first day I'm healthy in like a week. I had freaking two viruses last week a stomach virus and then a cold, a feverish freaking cold. And you know what, guys? Feeling good. And I'm feeling good. Oh, 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 oh. Bottom, bottom, bottom. This doesn't even do value anymore. This doesn't even do value. It's not quite lethal yet. Oh, we close, ladies and gentlemen. We close. Is Fry going viral now? Ah. Oh, Cosmos lives. You stink. <laughs> he made himself look. Cosmos survives. Cosmos survives again. Look at the Cosmos. Getting that value. I'll definitely take it. Uh, 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 uh. And... Ah. 
Oh, yeah, Invasive Species Sunstrike is a pretty damn good play. A pretty, a pretty damn good play. Oh, look at this guy go. No one cares. Zero people care. No one cares. And he's going down the stairs. Just as you fared. We're gonna kick your rear. Everybody, we is six and one. There's nothing this guy can do. I'm changing the score already. We six and mother freaking one. Uh, uh. Cosmos is the best card against you, Giganticus. The silver freaking bullet. Is HG actually a plant? Because Hugh Giganticus and Main Plant have the same amount of letters. <laughs> oh my god. Smart person with the conspiracy theories. Half Life 3 confirmed. Um, did Half Life 3 come out already? You say the M word? Mother Freaker? Is that, is that what I say? It's up to PewDiePie. What's the worst card in the whole game? Um, a Zombot is the worst card. It's too expensive. You know what I'm saying? Just for the memes. I'm only giving meme answers, you guys. Keep it going! I am so hyper now. Oh man, I got so much stuff to do. I can't wait. I'm getting to work. Uh-oh. I think there's a thing on here. Oh my god! A thing to try! Oh my god! I know, the green screen glitches out. It like needs me here to survive. Look. Goodbye, green screen. Oh, woo! Has to do with distance or color? I don't really know. Sometimes I just don't know. What do we like two cosmoses? I'm gonna keep a finisher. Should I get rid of one of these? I think two is what kill. Oh, okay. Now I wish I had the other one back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So good against Super Brains. HG has limbs. Man, we got we got the double plays, we got everything. What are you up to today? Um, I'm gonna get some work done. I have no plans today. I want to make a video announcing the merch! And I want to uh, make a Brawl Stars video of the sorts. I'm gonna have to make a Brawl Stars schedule. Uh, can I tell you guys what I'm planning for Brawl Stars? Which I might actually have a few minutes to play the end of the stream today. What I want to do is have a daily video explaining what the map is, and 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 what the pros and cons are, and 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 which brawlers work well and stuff like that. It's gonna mean I'm gonna have to stream Brawl Stars at nine in the nine or ten in the morning. Uh, I think it's going to be worth it. I'll do that eventually. Maybe once I get all the brawlers. Anyway. You're a decent one, Mr. Grinch. I think this is better. Oh, I'm very ambitious. You understand? My whole thing is amb my whole dr dr my whole drive is ambition. I know that sounds right, but my whole way I feel alive is when I'm ambitious about something and I'm working towards something. And I'm super, super ambitious for this freaking YouTube and Twitch channel, which I feel like uh, I feel like Brawl Stars is actually has already been um, moderately successful, which is amazing. At least I'll keep this around. Keep it around. It's going to punish him so hard to play some type of environment here. Bonus attack. Too bad we didn't play Briar Rose in one. Blam. Thank you. Yes. A lot of... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be working really hard. Particularly on the Brawl Stars. I'm gonna do some random stuff too, but I wanna establish the Brawl Stars first, have sort of a base game, have a game I can put out daily videos on. That's not, um, that's not, you know, a game that's growing rather than declining, of course. And then we will conquer the world! <laughs> this is a very legit, huh? This is a very legit. Huh? 
question is, where do we go from here? Do I want to keep this around, or do you want to just go for the value? Let's do it like that. Having an extra sunflower will be good for the cupcake. Mafia City now. What characters do I have? That's a long list, so that's a little bit um, hard for me to answer during a live stream, sorry. But you'll see. When I select characters in Brawl Stars, you shall see. Are you gonna buy my sweater? Thank you. The prices will be going up. They're very cheap right now. I should just make a whole bunch of designs. Seven and one. This deck is performing well. We're not against the strongest opponents. Do you have a video in your budget playlist that mostly focuses on tempo? I have a lot of old ones. Tempo used to be very good with budget decks because Lily of the Valley, but they nerfed that. Um. Does the city need a new Marabaro? Perhaps. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Making money definitely keeps me motivated. Donations definitely keep me motivated, but whatever. Oh, baby. Hello, Leon. Thank you. Such a nice person. Kinda like keeping the finisher, so I'm gonna keep this. Hey, more spore. Okay, at least there's some use for it. Mushroom shelf would be good in a budget aggro deck. I don't know, I don't think it does enough damage. You're charging your opponent's block mirror with two at a time, with no with no end game. I don't think it's worth it. Never done a sports deck with a uh, tennis champ before. <coughs> it's not a good card. We got a number of plays that are good here. A number of plays. I'm gonna go with the ring. Cosmos going. How do you get good at this game? How to test deck practice. Yep. So what's better, Bong Choy or Tennis Champ? The easy answer is Bong Choy is so much better than Tennis Champ, and I'll tell you why. Bong Choy is a plant. Any dry zombie you play always has a liability that the plants are able to react to it. Bong Choy is a three attack plant that has only one cost, meaning it can remove some some st much stronger, much more expensive zombie cards at less cost, making it a very high value card. If they put a 3-3 three, three on the field, or something with three health, you just play Bong Choy. Uh, Tennis Champ can only be played versus cards they play last year, which is a huge disadvantage. It's such an important thing to realize about this game. I don't have a way of preserving this, do I? Uh, we will have Cobb Cannon next turn, so I'm actually gonna play this here. <coughs> How come there aren't any zombies with a like, Glock? How do you send a deck? Take a screenshot with your phone and upload that screenshot to a site called Imgur, I-M-G-U-R, then take the Imgur link and put it in the Twitch chat. Lost Coliseum with Trickster. That's, that's only gonna enhance the Trickster if you don't have a lane open. Typically, Trickster decks are control decks, so what you're, you're trying to, you know, clear your lanes anyway. I don't think that's really what Trickster needs, and I think Mustache Monument would always be better, because the six damage will... I think, I think Mustache Monument's always better. I think you end up doing 12 damage instead of eight. Oh. 
Interesting. I never wanna hear you say. Uh, another cop cannon would be able to protect these two better, like that. Yeah, so. We'll have a decent sunstrike for this turn. Letter bounce. Oh, there's no good card to bounce. Sorry, dude. That's a sad bounce. We lost in a really unlucky game. I don't even remember. Who was it again? One of these sunflowers come right back. That's so fine. That's so insanely fine. In good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're up to six again. Finally, here's Velociradish. Finally, the Velociradish has come back. You know what I'm saying. Playing this before the Cob Cannon and making it land here is actually legit, because it'll just be protection for the Cob Cannon. I like it. So we want to develop this, let it grow, and then hit him with the Sunstrike. I think this is okay. He probably has a big defensive end or something that he'd rather me take this two for one than take the defensive end out. That's okay though. Ouch. We got that from Quasar. So we don't get the sunflowers back, unfortunately. <gasps> of species have not been performing. It wasn't that hard to make the merch. Uh, it, it, it is a little bit of work because I have to make an image and, and fit it properly. Um, Seaman actually made these and then the, the fan that made the logo made this part. But I had to put it together. I had to touch up the zombie a lot. It was actually... Um, it has a little bit of a border which I had to get rid of, uh, so I, I, it did, this image took a lot of time, but now that I have this touched up image, um, it should be a lot easier. I'm going to make a whole bunch of designs and a whole bunch of, um, of combinations and stuff like that, just to, just to have like a whole, a whole line, you know. I have to pick a font too. I should probably make a fry him up font. I'm not sure about this. I kinda like this one better. <laughs> Some kind of flaming font would be apropos. <laughs> Sunstrike basically wins the game. I wonder if I develop anything together with the sun strike, though. How with two is he going to get rid of either of these? This can just make him block eight, nine, ten, eleven. Evolving the raptor? What? Oh, this, you're right. 
You're saying it doesn't have team up. Wait. Oh, so that doesn't count as an as an evolve? Wait. I thought I have evolved little raptors before. Pretty sure I have. <coughs> I don't click on YouTube links. Why would I be clicking on that, too? Uh, eight. Uh, thank you. I will be making a video today. <laughs> Announcing... Renouncing the hoodie, you know. Renouncing the hoodie. Eight and one, folks! This is the last game! Game, we're against some mortician. Let's see what's going on here. I do have this teleportation zombie um, cheese cutter deck. I want to try. Oh, 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 that's a pretty good hand. What's going on, guys? Can we fight in? Can we, can we calm down, you guys? not a great play against Morticia. I don't know who I lost to. It was, a, it was a really, really unlucky game. Uh, thank you, King Dog. I should make more, more beginner, beginner things. Yeah. Gotcha. Good idea. Okay, Endolf, you, you gotta you gotta stop criticizing people so hard. Thank you. Now do I do you do this here? 